important thing in the lighting designer's range of tools and the most important part of everything we see is our eyes and the brain that processes the information. We have to understand how people see light and how they perceive light and what they think about it in order to design good and relevant schemes. Problems. Oh no, one of the challenges that we realized early on was that some of the concourses will have huge numbers of people on them and some of them are very big. At the time the main stadium is changing from one event to another, crowd modeling predictions showed there could be 80,000 people there at one time. 80,000 people take a lot of space and 80,000 people in the dark because some events will be happening in the dark even though it's summer because you have to catch the television audience in the west coast of America for example and you need an event that's happening in London in the dark. So we realized early on that we couldn't light these huge areas with normal lampposts because there would have been a forest of normal lampposts on these huge we realized the way to do it was to have a smaller number of very high lighting masts and these could become symbols for the Olympics. Part of the Olympic vision is that it should stay as something that London is proud of after the Olympics. So the masts are actually called the memory masts because they will stay and they will help people rem remember this wonderful event that's coming to London. Each mast is more than 30 meters tall and will be cr crowned by a vertical axis wind turbine. These are going to be the greenest Olympics ever. They are going to have extremely energy efficient lighting and the lighting in the masts is a mixture of LED and metal halide. The wind turbine on the top of the mast will help produce electricity. Now if you've got 30,000 people you need the lighting to be coming in quite vertical, them to see their feet. The light needs to get down between the people to the ground. That's another reason why we went for tall uh, columns, in order to get light down through the crowds of people to the, to, the, to the ground to see their feet. The Olympics will be very green. We spent a lot of time investigating the materials that all the fittings were made of, the recyclability of everything, and the reuse of everything. Because, of course, the park will change dramatically after the Games to get it ready for being a permanent park. Here, you can see the memory masks going up. There they are on site. And right in the distance, you can see the first one with its axis, vertical axis wind turbine on the top.